flag. All right, you guys, board. I'm in the Ants trailer booth and I'm with Neil. How are you, Neil? I'm doing well. Okay, so Ants is actually a concrete company and you guys developed th this trailer to move materials, right? Correct. But what you guys don't know about the Ants company is you guys built your own equipment trailer to serve yourselves, right? right? And it's a very specialized equipment trailer. Why did you build your own equipment trailer? So we use a tenant floor scrubber in our concrete business. And a scrubber has a really low clearance, ground clearance. Yep. Um, typically they're designed to get brought to a facility and left for the life of the unit. However, we move them on a daily, if not weekly basis. Okay. And during our uh, annual budgeting audits, we realize we're spending around $20,000 repairing these units. Um, in that process, we decided we have got to fix it. Okay, so why were you spending so much money repairing these things? What was going on? So we would have operators that are um, loading in, in different austere conditions, um, uneven ground or, or mud or whatever, and they would slip and they would end up hitting the, the ground right, right on the ledge, yeah, and that would destroy the undercarriage brushes. And that cost about $5,000 to repair. And that was happening multiple times a year. You're a concrete company. You got about 120 people pouring concrete on a daily basis. Last week, you poured 4,000 yards of concrete in four days. You poured 1,000 yards a day before 9 a.m. That means they had 100 concrete trucks running full time, and you got 1,000 a, a yards poured a day before 9 a.m. Yeah. So you guys are, are no slouch when it comes to concrete work. So when you built these trailers, you needed to build something that was gonna serve your own needs and not create problems. But now this is a very unique beast. This is a drop deck trailer specifically designed to handle equipment. Now you see these a lot of times in car handling situations, but you have two 7,000 pound axles on this thing. Is that right, Neil? Yep. So we're talking about 14,000 gross GVW, correct? Yep. The trailer weighs 3,800 pounds. By the time you had 15% tongue weight, what can this trailer handle? You're about 12,300 pounds. 12,300 pounds on this trailer. So one of the questions that we look, can we operate this, this thing, right? Because one of the things that is really a benefit is the ground clearance, the yep. ability for this thing to go up and over stuff, yep. right? Yeah, we have a, it's really easy to operate. We have an integrated toolbox here. So we turn it on and there's a wired remote that reaches from here all the way to the rear of the trailer. Okay. So basically it's up or down. It's a really easy function. So we'll run let's, it up. Let's go back here. Come on back with me, Neil. I kind of want to watch this thing. Look at the ground clearance on this thing. Think about this, you guys. You're coming off the road and you're coming into maybe not the best circumstances or situation. Look at this ground clearance. Look at this thing. This, let's put this in perspective. We're up to my knee. I mean, most trailers are not gonna give you that kind of, equipment trailers are not gonna yeah. give you that kind of ground clearance. Correct. Plus give you the capability to go flat down onto the ground. Correct. What kind of pieces of equipment do you think would really benefit from something that can load flat straight down on the ground? A lot of the, anything that's really low ground clearance works. Uh, it's phenomenal. Forklifts. Forklifts. Uh, Scissor lifts. Correct. Uh, scrubbers floor scrubbers, toolboxes. I mean, any toolboxes, what do you mean by a toolbox? Uh, big mechanics toolbox or knack boxes that okay. are hard to maneuver and handle. Instead of getting a ramp truck, you can push them or drag them right up with a winch. So you have actual bracket for the winch, Yeah. right? Oh, so you can hook a winch up right there and drop it down. Correct. But let's talk about dropping stuff down. When we're going down the road, how do we go down the road? Because we're not going down the road like this. Correct. How, how do we go down the road? So there is a, a, a margin of travel or elevation that was optimal that we've designed the camber and the toe of the axles so that they're they're running at the proper thing. Okay. So basically, this is our max elevation. So we would want to lower this down to our right height. Well, let's put the two safety blocks down. So now we've taken the hydraulics out of the equation. 
Yeah. You can have a complete catastrophic failure of the hydraulic system, and with these locks in place, is that going to hold? Yep, the load will settle down onto the lock, okay. and at that point, um, the axle is designed to be torsionally stable so that you could have a total failure and the load will maintain uh, stability going down the road so you're not losing that uh, and also hold it up off the ground and keep it in a safe manner. Okay, how often or how many times, how many times has you ha have you had one of these hydraulic cylinders break on you guys? We've never had a failure on the road at all. Okay. Ever in the history of these trailers, you're telling me you've never had a single failure on these hydraulic cylinders? Not, not driving, no. Nope. Okay, so is this a brand new trailer? So it's been out for three weeks and it doesn't count what you're saying? Or no. tell me how long has this trailer been around? No, so we've had them out um, on the market for at least five years. Um, and during that time, you know, it. The, the system has worked flawlessly. These are made 100% in Michigan. And what these guys in Michigan do is they've come up with your own electrical splice system as well. Yeah. These guys are freaking nuts. I'm just gonna tell you. I mean, they. I've seen the electrical splice system. Everything that these guys do is so over the top. It's incredible. But uh, let's just look at how this thing is actually put together up in the brain, the brain box of this baby, all right? Uh, here's here's where we get here's where we get good. I wish other trailer companies would do this. I've never seen another co trailer company do this. It's not a big thing. It's a little thing, right here. It, it was born out of necessity. You guys probably got sick and tired of seeing your plugs by your crews laying in the dirt. Yep, and and damage. You know, you when they're sitting in the there's a little latch there. So now keeps... we're, we're in the rain it's out of the rain it's out of the elements your hooks right there demco latch this is an auto latching system right here right and then we also have our easy adjust sl chain slack adjuster so you can adjust your the length of your chain depending on the size of your coupler or your hitch and that keeps your chains from dragging on the ground and degrading and, and then no longer being... Go on that side, capable. will you, Neil? Okay, you go on that side because there's something, Zach said this, I think, best. You said you have D-rings everywhere you wish there were D-rings. That's what you said. Yeah. Right? One, two, three, four. One, two. In the middle. Finally, someone put a D-ring in the middle, but you didn't stop there with those D-rings. Wait, there's more. Tell me about the D-rings, because this is actually a really cool feature. Neil, show me these D-rings, will ya? Yeah, so it will pivot into the direction of the load. So if a 10,000 pound D-ring is gonna, not gonna hold 10,000 pounds going sideways, it's gonna be less than that. And so it will fail under it. But now when you do the pivot, is that compromising the strength of that thing? Because it's no longer welded in place, it's on a pivot. Correct, so the, the D-ring will maintain its rated capacity in in any of, the, of that direction under in any direction all right now this one is painted correct and this one is going home with me you also have a galvanized option yeah okay so this is this this you can come in two options but this has a non-skid surface baked into the paint correct right we, we do have a, a factory applied coating that is very, it's the same type of equipment or coating they use on aircraft carriers for their, their landing surface. So that is an option that if somebody really needs an aggressive uh, anti-skid surface, we can apply that. What's the warranty? So we offer a one year warranty parts and labor. Okay. And what's the price point on something like this? So this trailer here is at around $20,000. And the galvanized option is? $2,500. $2,500 bump up. Yeah. Correct? Okay. And where do you guys find out more about this trailer? Uh, you can find out more at antstrailer.com. Antstrailer.com. And did we miss anything, Neil? No, nope, I don't think so. We've got a full load on the trailer and we're in heavy traffic in downtown. And this trailer is just towing like a dream. 
All right, guys, if you are in law enforcement, just do me a favor and put your fingers in your ears for a moment and go, la, 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 la. Are you doing it? Okay, I trust you're doing it. To get on that highway and to catch up with all that traffic, I was going between 85 and 90 miles an hour that entire ride. I wanted to do two things. Normally, I wouldn't try to keep up with every other lunatic that's out driving on the roads, especially with a brand new trailer, but I wanted to see how this thing would ride. I want you to watch to see how the trailer rides, and I want you to watch to see how the, uh, the wheels ride independently. Neil said they would ride independently while the trailer would ride like this. So far what I'm experiencing is this thing floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. We've only got about five, 600 more miles to go. So I think we'll have enough footage to be able to know for sure whether we like it or not by the time we're done. So let's keep, let's keep this uh, trip going. All right, let's do a real quick, quick short jaunt, but let's watch this and let's hit some hard crap. All right, this is about the best spot I can mount you guys. So let's just watch how she rides. All right, I found a bumpy. <laughs> this is a, this is a, well, there you go. Look at that. This is a show. <laughs> Excuse my language. It's a show out here. So let's just watch her go. Okay, here we go. Watch the back tires of the truck and then watch the deck of the trailer itself. You can see me hitting those bumps and the, the truck is just going boof and the trailer is just floating across. It. Drip the trailer. Alright, roll and check them straps. Let's see. Yes. We've been rolling now for a couple hundred miles. We just roll her right through some of the nastiest stuff we could find. Just a small testimonial to shock straps right there. Are they as tight as even one of our older ones? Are they as tight as you made them when you got them? When you Basically, yeah, they're, they're, they're tight. Yup. So not only does the trailer roll nice, but it doesn't bounce and the shock straps roll nice too. So if you guys haven't done shock straps, you got to check the shock straps out. Legitimately, these things saved my life. I was rolling down the road and I wasn't doing crazy crap like this. This is just a side story. It has nothing to do with the trailer. I do want this included because I want you guys to know about this. I had three attachments on just like that, this, but they were much bigger attachments. A deer jumped out in front of me. I hit it at 70 miles an hour and my truck went from 70 to dead stop. If these straps had let loose, they would have picked up and flown straight into the back of the cab and I wouldn't be here today. Shock straps saved my life. When I went out and checked the straps, fiddle tight. They were just as tight. These are fiddle tight. They were just as tight as that. So get shock straps and tell them the Dirt Monkey sent you and you're gonna get a discount. I guarantee you're gonna get a discount. I, I just talked to the owner and I said, hey, you know what? I'm a big believer in your straps. If I start telling people the story about what happened to me, are you gonna do something special for them? And he said, absolutely. So they're a good family run business. They're good people, good people overall. I, I knew the original owner. I know the new owner. Um, but this trailer tows like a freaking dream, just like a beautiful dream. And that's gonna call it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching us. Uh, test this trailer out on the way home it's gonna start getting dark we still got quite a ways to go but I hit every pothole I could uh, I did I, I I've done everything I could do to this thing and this thing is just amazing it's just a, such a beautiful smooth it's like floats like a butterfly stings like a bee is not a lie you guys but that's it for this one God bless go get him you guys and I hope wherever you whatever you do you have fun along the way 
I hope you're safe along the way and I hope you just make the world a little better place along the way. God bless. Go get them. We'll catch you on another one.